Welcome back, so happy to see you again. And I got a comment recently about how I'm able to come up with so many ideas every day since I'm making a new video every day and I've previously done articles every day. Still, I feel that ideas are not the bottleneck. It's not the thing that hinders me. So I want to talk about my creative process, what's going on behind the scenes, etc. how I get ideas which I can then execute upon the videos and so forth. In order to understand ideas we need to understand the two forces of creativity which is divergence and convergence. Divergence is when you have one word let's call it a brick and then we are trying to make as many uses of it which all is coming down to association stuff like that. Convergence on the other hand is when you're contracting there's only one correct answer like for instance in math here is where you evaluate which ones which you come up with is actually good and you need both you need to be able to generate a lot of ideas and then be able to afterwards select which ideas which are good. It can be so hard in the moment when we are trying to get the best idea, trying to see what we are going to come up with. It's not like we can think our way to better ideas if that makes sense. And you've probably experienced that too when everything is on the line but there is this rider's block going around. But then when you take a step back, you take a shower, you take a walk, etc. Then because the mind is relaxed, it's more free ranging. And also when you go to bed, by the way, the ideas are just flowing in. You're free ranging, you're diverging, call it like that. But here's when you need to capture. You want to capture everything which you come up with, which you find particularly good at. I really made this a priority to make this capture system as easy as possible because it has to, otherwise you won't do it. The easiest one I found was Google Task. So easy to just type it in, type a new task, and then it's all good from there. And once every Saturday, I go through them all and see which one I want to execute upon to make videos out of. It can be so random when you get these brilliant ideas. It could be when you're working, could be even when you're talking and stuff like that, that it needs to be available at all times. Then it comes the question, what if you need an idea right now? Because it's so easy to have some kind of abundance mindset and think you need ideas and then they come. But let's say when you are in a position, you are in a position where you have a writer's block, you don't know what to say, you don't know what to write. What do you do from there? That's that's actually something I've been uh, confronting with head on during my time in which I um, was trying to speak without a script. It's a little bit coming up with ideas on steroids because you want to both know what to say but also express it in a way that it's unbelievably coherent called it that. There was a big unlock for me when I was doing this 90 minutes practice of talking to the camera and so forth. As long as I felt comfortable, I become more non-needy, so to speak. Then I automatically got into some kind of flow state. I wasn't really introspecting what I was going to say anymore. I was more focused on what I saw and what I heard and what I felt, as soon as I let go of coming up with ideas, coming up with what to say, it all came out naturally. In the state where I'm right now, I don't know what I'm saying, although I have some bullet points here and there. It's more the case that I'm observing myself speaking rather than trying to micromanage myself. So that's the thing with writer's block too, that you want to get into this state of acceptance, state of attention, whatever, in which you feel totally comfortable with whatever happens. And then because you're this non-needy, you can gain more attention to it since you're not worried about what is going to happen when you're not coming up with everything you want to get during that moment because you're comfortably freezing. It's more a case of labeling whatever you feel, labeling whatever happens as good. And I've even added this to my wallpaper on my phone as always. I like to put things on my wallpaper because you know, you get reminded every time you go into the phone, which is quite often. But then we also have the more convergence aspect. Which ideas are actually good? Which ones can we be execute upon them? I like what Alex and Moses said, you should do stuff and then talk about them. So if you want to have more interesting ideas, why not have this more interesting life, that makes sense. And interesting is all subjective. It's all about what you want to do and what you want to portray and so forth. But to really document what is going on, document your lessons and so forth. And overall see that, okay, 
Ideas might not be the bottleneck. It might be the fact that I'm not where I'm at, or at least not doing the activities right now that might be the bottleneck. Because once I'm doing the activities, then I can tell about, okay, I'm doing these activities. Here's how I do them. Here's how I get into this mental space, whatever. And then you have this evidence, this unbeatable sense of conviction because you're doing it. And then, of course, when it comes to uh, creating YouTube, creating a medium or whatever, that you want to pay attention to the data. The data never lies. Expand on topics which have proven to be very useful to people, especially when it comes to you. Here's where you come in. What you're saying and replying back in the comment session is my highest priority. You know, when I started the video that, okay, here's a comment and here's why I want to respond to that. Because now I know that, okay, here's what you're interested in and here's how I can provide you with as much as I know at the moment. It's all in the early stages, but it's all going to be better from there. So by fact, which are showing up to you every day, we are documenting this progress. Okay, here is what Oscar said one month ago. Here's what he's saying right now. Here's what he's going to say in the future, etc. But it's all a dance between you and me called it that. I'm saying stuff right now through the video and you're saying stuff back to the comments. This is all a part of this feedback, this idea generation too. That's a very fun story in the end. When I was starting to write daily, I was more um, concerned with what happens if I don't know what to write. So I had this outline garden, which I had a ton of ideas of what to do. We can talk various kinds of domains and so forth, but having this bag, I simply came up with it doing lots of walks, lots of meditations and so forth like that. Then I later found that ideas are not a bottleneck anymore because you know that you can generate as much ideas on the fly. Just when I was making music the other day, I came up with 12 ideas for background music in just 15 minutes or so forth. Because you know, when everything is good, when you're diverging, nothing is uh, either good or bad, it's really flowing. It's a very powerful feeling. And of course, it can be very good to do things like walks and a lot of stuff that generates these ideas when you can truly get into this associative part. And of course, let me know if that was somewhat useful or if you want me to expand on that topic because I know that it might be a hindrance for some. That's what ChatGPT has sort of solved it. And we haven't really mentioned it at all. As long as you can generate it yourself, you can at least use ChatGPT for other things, which I'll of course talk about later this week or next week or to that. I'll see you in this video right here and always remember that you're the most amazing being alive.